Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to graph subsets of data in Stata. In order to do so, let's begin by opening up a data set and I've chosen Census 13. It's a preloaded data set in Stata and it happens to be a record of the demographic characteristics of the US states, including birth rate, uh, population, divorce rate, marriage rate, region, and so forth. And what I'd like to do today is I want to create some scatter plots and also some lines of best fit showing you how we can use subsets of the data only to, to create. So let's start by showing you the code for a scatter plot that has a little conditional statement inside it. So the first thing to notice is we have the graph type here. Within the parentheses, we have our code. And so here it's a scatter plot that I've specified. I have my dependent variable here, divorce rate. I have my independent variable, marriage rate. And I have my conditional operator here, which is if region equals one. And notice that is two equal signs put together. Now what happens if I enter this code? Well, as you see, there are only a few values for region one, which happens to be the northeast in this data set and we've created a scatter plot just on the basis of those data points. Now I do want you to observe what would happen if we went in there and did a scatter plot on the entire set of data. It would look like this. And this by the way is Nevada. I know it throws off the whole scatter plot because it's such an enormous outlier over here. But you can immediately see that we have a lot more values here in this scatter plot than we did in the first one where we specified that the region was to be the northeast, which is region number one. Now, I want you to observe that you can actually combine conditional statements when you graph, and this is a very useful property when you're working with a large data set, and there are a lot of little slices that you want to take out of that data set and visualize. So, for example, let's say that I want to look at the scatter plot of the relationship between the divorce rate and the marriage rate, in two conditions. If the region is the northeast equals equals one and also if the population of the state is greater than one million. So I've put in those two characteristics and notice that some of those data points got winnowed out by that extra condition that I put here because it has to be not only in the northeast the state has to have a population over a million to be included in that scatter plot. And it, you know, it continues this way, like I want to show you what, what happens if, for example, we create a, a two-way plot here with a, a line of best fit, which we would produce for OLS uh, regression and a scatter plot. Uh, I know it seems like a lot of code, which, by the way, you can go and grab it off the 272analytics.com website and, you know, just run it yourself in your stata and, and kind of play around with the code and your variable names. But basically the same thing happened. We have two arguments kind of back to back here. And each of them is within parentheses. And the first thing that Stata is going to do is it's going to execute this uh, this line of best fit. So L fit means linear fit and CI means confidence interval. And I'm just going to show you the graph see, so you can see what it looks like. Um, so here, you know, I've, I've just created this OLS line of best fit with its confidence interval, but I've done it just for a handful of states. And I want you to observe that these are the same conditions that we had um, you know, earlier. Uh, I just put it instead of a scatter plot, I just showed you how we could do it with a, a line of best fit plus the scatter plot. I want to show you one more operator while I'm at it. Here, notice this little exclamation mark before the equal sign. So now this is not equal to one. So here I'm basically saying I, I'm modifying my command here so that I'm excluding the northeast rather than including it. And now you're going to see a lot more data points when I run that. See, we've done everything here. We've, we've excluded the northeast and included all of the other points. That is by way of showing you that there are a number of ways through which you can kind of focus in on subsets of the data when you're doing graphs. In order to do that, you need to know how to use these parentheses and you need to become familiar with status operators like two equal signs, for example, strung together here for region. Uh, you know, and to add, add a statement. There's also or statements. Uh, greater than, of course, there's less than, also greater uh, or equal. So there's there's all kinds of things you can do with, uh, with the operators. One way of getting at it is to go to the graphics menu, for example. And if you do, you know, scatter plot here, 
uh, when you create observations, this is kind of like a handy little, um, you know, statement here. It's, it shows you what you can do, what the operators are. You've got exponents, addition, a greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to. Uh, and so that's one way you can look at the operators. Um, probably the best way to do it is to look at the stata documentation. I've tried to show you probably the most common ones when graduate students in particular are trying to do this kind of analysis. They, they, they really will look for maybe just slicing the data set you know, by region or category just one time. It probably won't be the case that you need three or four conditional statements one after the other, but if you do, static can handle that. It's very easy. You just keep add, you know, for example, you can just keep adding on different conditions and so forth. So I think that's a very, very useful aspect of Stata that makes its graphics really stand out. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.